Welcome to our tech discussion. Today, we're tackling a perplexing issue that many developers encounter when working with Signal R. Our viewer has raised an intriguing question about connection stability in their real-time web application hosted on Azure. They've noticed that Signal R sometimes loses connection to the hub, and this happens without any clear pattern, even during low traffic periods. They're particularly curious about why this occurs when the traffic is light, despite having a one-minute auto-refresh in place. Have you faced similar challenges with Signal R? Let's explore this together and see if we can uncover some solutions. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. First, let's understand the potential reasons why SignalR might lose connection to the server. One common cause is network instability, which can occur even during low traffic periods. Next, check your SignalR configuration settings. Ensure that the Keep Alive interval is set appropriately. A shorter interval can help maintain the connection during idle times. Additionally, consider implementing automatic reconnection logic. SignalR has built-in support for this, which can help re-establish the connection when it drops. Lastly, monitor your server's performance and logs during low traffic periods. This can help identify any underlying issues that may not be apparent during high traffic. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Signal our clients can lose connection to the server, which can be frustrating. By default, they try to reconnect for 20 seconds. If they can't reconnect, a disconnected event is triggered and the client stops trying. This disconnection can happen for various reasons, like an app pool recycle taking too long or intermittent network issues. It's important to implement logic to attempt reconnection after the disconnected event. For more details on handling connection events, check the SignalR Lifecycle Events documentation. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one.